Adventure is in my blood. Finding treasures big or small and having fun is what it's all about. With my wife, Melissa, and our three kids, life is pretty full. But there isn't a mountain we can't climb together. This isn't your ordinary antique store. My name is Alex Archibald, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey guys, today I revisit a familiar location. I'm at the Potter's House. Now, we are doing some prep work today to get ready for tomorrow's auction. And yes, we've decided um, to put the house up for auction. We have other adventures planned and the house sitting here isn't doing anybody any good, so it's going up for auction. So, while the auctioneers are inside getting ready and preparing, I'm gonna go eat because I haven't done that yet today. And tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna do uh, <laughs> a live feed, well, not a live feed, I'll do a, a video of the auction happening. Hopefully it will be a success, I don't know yet. Right now, um, just time will tell. But uh, my last night, my last day in the Potter's House, maybe my last day in Provost, you never know. Hustle and bustle is continuing downstairs here as they get everything ready, start moving stuff around. Everything's getting its lot numbers. The trunk I found in the spare room with the World War I medals to give back to the family. The old stereo, which we didn't think worked, but actually does work. The trunk, all kinds of stuff. So it's getting, uh, kind of looks like a little store in here. And out front, we've got our good friend, Tim. It's a chalk block almost. And Tim is the fellow who uh, uncovered this sidewalk. Well, he's come back and he's doing a little uh, trim of the hedges for me to spruce it up a bit. Well, the hedges are looking much better. Now that Tim's worked his magic on it. Look at that, it's like a crisp little row along the sidewalk, not overgrown. Grass on the other hand, need, I need to put some grass seed down, but mind you, the house is supposed to be selling tomorrow, but if it doesn't sell tomorrow, I will go buy some grass seed and spread it around, try and choke out some of those weeds that are there. But I've done about all I can do with the house tonight, so I'm gonna walk, which is the great thing about living in a smaller town, or working in a smaller town, you can walk everywhere. I'm gonna go walk to the local theater and go see the new Spider-Man movie. That's right. And then it's back at it tomorrow for a busy day. But for now, I'm gonna go have some fun. Well, it's the next morning. I woke up ready for the auction sale and uh, had a guy driving down the alley really slow. Thought he was coming to check out the sale. Instead, he let me know that there's a skunk trap that somebody put on my property without me knowing. And it uh, captured a skunk. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna release this thing. The city is closed. The town is closed today. So if the town put it here, uh, without my permission, um, now I have a skunk and we're going to be uh, doing an auction sale. So A, I don't want to trap this little guy and B, I don't know why somebody put a trap on my land without asking. So now I'm going to deal with that this morning. So i got a long pokey stick. Hopefully I can open the gate and let the guy out and not get sprayed. So this is the situation. I'm not going to get too close right now. There's a little skunk in there. Which... I don't want to get sprayed by that guy. And he's got his little sprayer pointed right at me. I'd very much just like to let him out. He looks like he's in uh, ready to get me mode. <laughs> so I don't know exactly know what I'm going to do about that right now. I'm going to stand back for it until I figure this out. So right now I'm going to Google how, <laughs> how far skunk can spray because I don't want to get too close to this thing. Uh, the police aren't answering the phone here in town. The city isn't answering the phone. Apparently you can get away with all sorts of crime and provost on a Saturday because nobody answers anything. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna see, we'll we have to Google this and see what we do. Yeah, I've managed to cover most of the cage. Sprayed a little, it's, it's stinky, but not like full on skunk spray stinky. It's bad though, it's giving a little warning shot. They say that if you cover it with blankets, it'll calm it down. So nice of them to put it on my property. So the neighbors in the alley tell me that the skunk was kind of giving the uh, alleyway a bit of a problem, so they put a few traps out, one of them of course being in my yard because they suspected it might be here. Sure enough, they caught it. We got this lovely aroma wafting around. The auction starts in a couple hours. I don't think it's going to dissipate in that amount of time, so a little bit uh, nervous about the stinky factor. On the plus side, the smell is right by where we put the uh, porta potties, so maybe people just think someone had a really bad uh, time in there <laughs> and they won't think it's a skunk. Okay, so have you guys ever been setting up for an auction and there's been a skunk go off in the backyard? Well, this is the first time. <laughs> first time? Yeah, first time for everything. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
Still can't reach anybody in the city. Uh, don't get murdered in Provo on a Saturday because nobody's around, not even the police. Uh, I'm gonna go and try and get rid of some of the stink in the backyard, uh, dilute it. We've covered it completely with blankets. Um, they say, they being the internet says, that if it's covered in blankets, it'll calm it down. Um, so we're gonna keep trying to get a hold of people and I guess keep people out of that uh, part of the yard where that skunk is and hopefully there's no more spraying that happens. Ugh. Meanwhile, in the front yard, Tegan, how's it going inside? Good, how's it going out here? Uh, skunk issue not totally resolved. Uh oh. Still trying to get that figured out. It looks like uh, we've got a few onlookers already. Oh yeah, they said that they watch your channel so they wanted to come and take a look at the house. Okay, well I'll go up and say hi. Yeah, hopefully they sign up for bidder card at some point. When are we opening up the uh, station for bidding? Or not, for signing uh, up for I bidding. I just got to uh, open the blinds basically. Oh, okay. And then I'm ready to go. All right. Well, at least there's a few, uh, one or two yeah. eager people. Oh, definitely. They can bid on everything. Exactly. <laughs> and an update on the backyard. While I was inside the house, someone came and removed the skunk. Thank goodness. And uh, the stuff I put on the ground seems to have gotten rid of the skunk smell. So we're almost uh, pretty well back in business here. A little bit of lingering skunk smell remaining, but Whew, thank goodness that's dealt with. Well, open the shirt. I see he's got the shirt on. Oh, he's got the potter hat. Look, it's Austin. And let's see what happened to your trademark ponytail. So when you get a haircut, you don't mess around. No, I took it all <laughs> off. He went straight down. Looks good. He, he caught it for me. Yeah. So Nice. You guys look very brotherly like today. You got similar glasses on. And with that haircut, it's like, who's who? But uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the door is standing up well. It looks good. So... Uh, yeah, are you guys going to sign up for bidder card and yeah, see if there's I something you want? Yeah, I think I'm going to sign up for a number and see what I can buy. You should get the whole house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All if, right. I, if I could afford it, I would definitely buy it. So. <laughs> People are starting to linger and have a look around at some of the wares, including our good friend Austin. Lots of nice stuff in here. Later in about five minutes, you guys, so just make sure you take a look around. We're selling you everything upstairs and so feel free to go all around the house. Everything that you see in here that's not bolted to the wall is selling. So just so you know that. And it is also, if you have your iPhone with you or your, your cell phone, you can look up the whole catalog on our website. You'll know exactly what's going on. And it also will be on this monitor for us here, okay? So uh, just so you know, you can do that. And you'll be able to see exactly what we're selling in case you missed something in the house too. And we're going to be starting here in about five minutes. We're just getting the computer fired up here, and that is really out of my realm of expertise. So we'll just let Katrina do that one, okay? We'll be sh shortly firing up. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Thank you for coming out to today's auction sale. This has been a, um, a big project, as you know. I don't know how many of you followed the series, the renovation, as we went through. Um, I started renovating the house back in January when we had the minus 40 spell, so I was working in here um, getting everything done. Uh, Carmen's here in the crowd who did a lot of the, uh, the ceiling and painting and drywalling. So big hand to Carmen for all of his fantastic work that he did. And uh, we've got young Austin who lost his ponytail somewhere along the way. Uh, Austin uh, Tischler and his brother are here. Uh, they were the uh, fellows that uh, did the custom work on the doors. We had some handmade doors done, so thank you to that. And I think he did a video on building them too. Yeah. So you can watch that on his YouTube channel if you want to see what that's like. Um, we, we see we had uh, some local paint suppliers. We had we basically tried to employ everybody who was a tra if you were a trade person in the Provost area, you got work between January and March from this house. <laughs> we did pretty much everything to it. Um, electricals fully upgraded, new panels. Uh, we did new windows throughout the entire home. Um, we did uh, new gutters, uh, the paint, everything. I mean, it's ready to go. Uh, the furnace is only a few years old. The roof was done about five years ago. Uh, brand new hot water tank. So in terms of a livable home, the house is ready to go. Now a lot of you probably hear from some of the smalls, the antiques. So to give you a bit of a background on that, um, there was a lot of things, as you may have known, that were in this house. And so I went through the process of getting rid of the stuff that was brought in later and we got down to the stuff that was either Mary's or things that were more special to her. And of those items, we kept some in the house as an, um, sort of a nod to Mary and what she loved and what she collected. So some of the paintings that we see are ones that she would have had or were given to her from other artists. Um, things that she collected and had decorated the home with. The drawings that are here 
Um, if, you, if any of you have watched the interview that I did with Mary, she said she would close her eyes and she'd let the pen wander and she'd let her mind kind of create. And uh, you see the sort of swirling effects in some of the drawings. These are all drawings that Mary did. She's not known for being an artist uh, on paper or on oil, but she did dabble. And there's some of her um, attempts at work in some of her paintings around the house. Those all be going for auction. Um, but you can kind of see in the banister that swirling effect that she did, even with the railing on the banister of the house. It all really ties in with Mary, and we wanted to keep that in place because it really spoke to her. So we're going to be getting the auction going here in just a couple minutes, so trying to get the um, everything up and the bidding live. Um, there's going to be all sorts of wonderful things that came out of this house that you'll be able to take home with you and, and have part of this story back with you. And um, it's crazy to think that out of the video series we did on the renovation of this home, I mean, had it just been a regular renovation, so be it. But we tried to do it in with respect to Mary. Um, we were trying to get ready to show her. Sadly, she passed away when we were midway through renovating, so I did get to show her pictures of the house as it was progressing, and she was very happy to see the progress. And what was interesting is that things she hadn't seen, I guarantee she hadn't seen since probably 1970, she went, oh, I remember, there's an old washing machine around the corner there. She said to me, uh, <laughs> she said, we bought that thing brand new and never used it. So it's pretty, it's a brand new, you know, 1950s washer, ringer washer in the next room. And I plugged it in and it works like a darn and it's quiet. So just that she remembered that stuff, you know, from being sitting back there after all those years. Uh, tremendous lady and I was very honored to get to know her. And if you're from the Provost area, I'm sure you had interactions with Mary in one form or another. Um, maybe she was buying stuff at your yard sale and bringing it to this house, who knows? <laughs> but she was a remarkable lady. Um, and uh, her art is now spread throughout the world, and she has many fans out there. Um, so this is the, the last hurrah. This is her, her home, which is, uh, can be designated, if anybody's interested, no, this house can be designated a heritage site. Uh, we've got the, uh, the bronze plaque on the front. Uh, the government tells me that you can, in fact, get it designated because she's an important artist. This was an important home, and she did her work here and had a studio here. So for that, you would basically get government grants uh, to help towards future renovations should you choose to go down that path. I didn't put the application in yet because I want to let that be the new owner's uh, prerogative whether they want to do that or not. So um, are we looking good with the audio? We're Thank good you, to go. Thank you, Alex. Say hi to everybody online. Oh, hi, everybody online. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so you are in a house right now for all those standing in this room that over 10 million people around the world know of, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. The videos that are on YouTube were seen by over 10 million people from the Netherlands to Australia to Germany to Italy. There's people watching the auction right now from everywhere around the world. And we happen to be in Provo, so we happen to be in an area that is a little bit more secluded in Alberta, so we don't have a huge crowd here today. But I'm thankful that you all showed up, and I really hope that you enjoy today, that you have some fun. And uh, we started all the bids really low, so you all have a chance to take something fun home with you today. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna pass the mic over, and uh, we'll let things get started. Thank you guys very much. Thank you very much, Alex. A chance to uh, take something home from this house as well, okay? So the, the monitors up here, this is live, a uh, live feed. They can hear us in here and a bit along uh, amongst with us here today. Um, there is no buyer's fee for us in-house. They do have a fee online, okay? Just so you know that. Well, it's getting close to starting. I'm gonna kind of duck back and just watch from the other area here. Oh, let's see how it goes. Last call, 17, 15, 15, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17,
Sold it for fifteen dollars. <laughs>
And I sold for three hundred and fifty dollars right down here in the Bible. Thank you. All right. Thirty five, 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 th
Okay, if it's, it's an uncatalogued item, I'm just going to sell it in-house only, guys. All right, I'm going to go here now. Now we should have a robot for a tank of the money than 100. Oh, brother, 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 20, 30, 40, you know, it's really good luck to buy the last item at an auction sale. lives across the street, so he just has to wheel at home, not far to go. That's how you get stuff home easy at the auction, you just wheel at home. Well, that's probably a better way to do it. He lives in town, so he's gonna just use the bobcat and take it all the way home. We say goodbye to the fridge. Off she goes, her new home. Oh, I bet it will. Well, the house is getting emptied out. It's uh, looking a lot different in here, but it will be good for when the house eventually does sell. I won't have to worry about moving all these things out of here. Um, the books all sold, the ice chest sold, and I was really happy with the prices we got. The auctioneers did a fantastic job, and they were working so hard that he was actually sweating up there while he was calling. I mean, that's a long time to auction for without having somebody take over for you. A lot of times an auctioneer will have somebody else uh, swap out with them. He did a fantastic job and I'm very happy with the work he did. Well, that's it. The auction is done. I'm still the owner of the Potter's House and I, Melissa and I have the opinion that everything happens for a reason. Maybe we were meant to stay on as caretakers of this home for a little while longer. Um, who knows? The, the reason for us not selling the house will present itself at some point, but I'm not. As much as it would have been nice to move on and, and do other things, um, it's not the worst thing in the world to own another beautiful home, uh, albeit in another town, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, on the plus side, all the uh, furniture and the small stuff that was sitting around the house, 130 lots of things sold today. Um, so I'm pretty happy that that stuff's all gone now and we just have an empty house to manage which is so much easier than uh, having to worry about the furniture that's in it. Um, and in some cases, you know, we got uh, much more than we expected for items, which is the thing with an auction, you never know. Sometimes you can go big and sometimes you can go small. Um, today I think that the auctioneers did a fantastic job, Scribners did a great job, very happy with all the work they did. Um, to the point where I almost feel guilty that they put in so much work and effort that I really hope it was worth their time. Uh, but happy with the result. So thank you guys very much for watching today's episode. Um, I guess the Potter's House story is not completely over yet because it's not sold yet. Uh, but thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for the adventures uh, that are coming ahead with the general store. And we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.